Greetings, Lithuania from Seattle in America. Welcome to this conference. There are just so many good topics that are being presented today. I'm only sorry that I won't be there to hear about them in person. Perhaps one day I'll be able to come and see you there in your country. I have been asked to share um, some of my experiences using the Incredible Years programs around the world, as well as my work with Lithuania after the, over the past uh, three years. So first, why is it that we need to use evidence-based parent programs in the first place? Well, research, almost over 40 years worth of research now has shown that evidence-based programs prevent and they reduce child neglect and abuse by increasing positive, responsive parenting and parent-child attachment. In addition to that, they've been shown to reduce parental depression uh, and increase parents' confidence, as well as to promote children's optimal development and reduce behavior problems. However, unfortunately, uh, a large portion of families ever receive an evidence-based program. What do we know about children that are involved in the child welfare services? We do know that these children have high rates of emotional and social problems. They often can have academic difficulties or language delays or developmental issues. And many may have a diagnosis, about 40%, in fact, of attention deficit disorder or conduct disorders, anxiety, depression, or being on the autism spectrum. What are the longer term effects for children that have been um, had experience that have been adverse experiences, life events, um, abuse or neglect? We do know that these children are at higher risk for things like school dropout, academic failure, substance abuse and violence in later years. And we do that as, see that a significant number of children, even as young as age three, um, having been abused or neglected, are found to have 2.5 as many criminal convictions by the time they're 21 years, compared to those not at risk. So the earlier the evidence-based parent and child programs are provided, the better. Um, it promotes secure parenting and attachment and reduces the risk for neglect and abuse, thereby uh, promoting the uh, well-being and the safety of these children. Early prevention of child neglect and abuse is a worthwhile investment. The diversion of even one child off uh, a life of crime results in significant uh, cost benefits. So. Thanks to the Lithuanian government for investing in the Incredible Years Parent Programs, why did they select this particular evidence-based program? Well, first, just let me mention what it means to be evidence-based. And this means that it's a program that has had some of the following research characteristics. That is that there's at least two peer review published papers on the effects of the program and these studies have used randomized control trials, which is really key. And there is also at least one independent randomized control trial by an independent investigator, somebody outside of the, the developer's um, network that could has been able to get the same results. That the studies have used reliable and valid measures and not just parent report data, but data from parents, from teachers, as well as independent observations of the parent-child interactions and standardized assessments of the children themselves. And we have at least one year follow-up telling us about the sustainability of the results over time. So these are the criteria you would look for in terms of determining whether or not this is an evidence-based program. Now, the Incredible Years Parenting Program is my first program I ever developed um, as part of my doctoral dissertation, and it's been around the longest time. And we have seen um, many uh, randomized control trials. We ourselves in our shop have done more than nine treatment trials, that is with children with diagnoses, as well as for prevention studies, that would be with high-risk populations um, largely socioeconomic disadvantaged families. 
In addition, we've had at least 14 independent replications from other investigators in other countries. Uh, eight different countries have reported results on this. We have found consistent results across all of these studies in terms of promoting positive parenting, parent-child attachment, decreasing the uh, harsh discipline, decreasing parents' depression, and increasing their self-confidence, as well as reducing child behavior problems and increasing their social competence and their, so their uh, school readiness skills. These effects have been found with high-risk populations, uh, also with families that have been referred to child welfare programs because of, of neglect or abuse. So Lithuania decided to spotlight the preschool basic program for children ages three to six years. There are our numbers. You can see here there are five different programs, um, basic uh, programs for children, parents of children, according to the age of the children, and they chose the three to six-year-old age range. The Parenting Pyramid is the roadmap for this program, and we focus a lot on building a strong foundation at the bottom of this pyramid uh, before we go into some of the proactive discipline methods. Now, what were the, Lith the Lithuanian goals in, in 2019? I went back and looked at their application to me, um, and in fact, it was the second application where they revised them to see what they said then, and then compared that with where we are now. So we found in their, the document here, you can see on the right was the actual document that I received, that in 2020, they planned to select and train their first batch of 20 Incredible Years group leaders to deliver this basic program and to spread the positive message of Incredible Years in Lithuania. They plan to run 20 parent groups each year, so they would have a total of 40 over two years. They plan to, to translate the parent handouts, and they plan to, their goal was to have at least 10 um, group leaders accredited one of the things I want to remark on about my work with Lithuania was we spent many months planning before we started anything. They were really an incredible team of people who thought carefully about where they were going to deliver the program, who they were going to train. Um, I've listed three of the people here, um, but I know that there were more involved in that. But those are the ones that I recently had um, a consultation with online, so I've included them here. They're delightful to work with. They are dedicated to the quality delivery of the program. And what was decided was to choose the strongest mental health institutions for program delivery and to choose the best qualified group leaders. Uh, those would be people who had a master's degree in nursing or psychology or teaching or social work. And it had extensive experience working with families and their children. The plan was to offer four days, four full days of in-person training and to provide ongoing regular consultation, consultations in person after that as they began to deliver the program. But as you all know, uh, COVID kind of jumped in the middle of all of this careful planning uh, and we then had to uh, adapt. And I will say that Lithuania did an absolutely tremendous job of adapting to online training. So we offered the training online, 20 in the first year and 20 in the second year. And there are pictures of these people below that we trained. And the group leaders themselves then began to train online with their parents. For those of you who don't know, the program comes with an extensive leader manual with video clips to show the parents, uh, posters and books for the parents and the group leaders as well. The program itself is developmentally based on this age range, three to six. It's culturally sensitive um, and it addresses the participants' goals, what they want for the long term to accomplish with their, with their own parenting and with their children. It is a collaborative training process, it is not didactic, it involves a lot of interactions and discussions and problem solving. Um, learning some of the principles of behavior change 
and then they adapt them to their goals. It is based on self-reflection, on parents thinking about what they do, what they want to do differently, as well as uh, a lot of experiential work, practicing doing things in group and practicing certain ideas at home with their children. Programs, methods include videotape, modeling, uh, live modeling as well, uh, focusing on the cognitions, the feelings, and the behaviors, all three uh, equally. Um, the, each week, the parents set some goals for themselves to what they think they can achieve and have home practice activities. And the program is sensitive to the socioeconomic barriers. Um, and so we're careful with trying to make sure that transportation is provided, daycare is provided, and oftentimes dinner. Program adapts to the cultural or the um, contextual or the family differences. So for example, because it was COVID, we adapted to the particular issues that families were having with having children at home and not being in school and managing their jobs and so on. This is part of how the program is delivered with Fidelity is to adapt to the situation in the environment or in the home and also to the children themselves in terms of where they are developmentally and what are the appropriate goals for the children. So what did we get? Here's the celebration I hope you are all going to have today. And that is that Lithuania more than met their goals, they exceeded their goals. Um, they trained 42 group leaders as of this month. 14 of them um, as of this month are accredited. So it is really an is awesome results. So in terms of just where else we use the program, I was asked to talk a little bit about that. We're in over 20 countries and actually have trained over 71,000 group leaders. So we're a, a cadre of colleagues working together to try to bring out the best in our children's social, emotional, and academic outcomes. This slide just shows you some of the other countries and the numbers of people that they've trained. And while Lith Lithuania has trained the fewest, I know they are going to get up there um, in the next few years. I'm not at all worried about it. Um, this just tells you some of the countries, Baltic countries, United Kingdom, Europe, Canada, uh, New Zealand, and so forth. So in summary, research paints a picture of hope and warning for us. Uh, it tells us the importance of providing parents with adequate support systems to help them build their own um, support systems as well as to build their bonds with their children. It tells us the importance of teaching children social and emotional skills, language skills, particularly for families in high-risk uh, family situations. It warns us about the risks if we don't provide these environmental supports for children, um, particularly for children involved or have been referred by child welfare. Now, building a strong training and support system is really key. Picking the evidence-based program itself is not enough. So good evidence-based dissemination means also solid construction, a foundation with quality training, quality supervision and support, positive uh, consumer evaluations, and a, a supportive agency infrastructure with accredited group leaders, and eventually um, Lithuania will work towards having coaches as well as their own mentors. This, this construction foundation is really important that it is solid so that all of the waste, all of the time that's being spent is not wasted. And I will see, say, indeed, Lithuania has achieved this as well. They have really developed a solid foundation. Their first trainers, their first 42 trainers, have an exceptional background of experience in education and are getting accredited. Um, I know we'll probably have even more accredited at the end of this month. So I want to thank the, the Lithuanian government and the team, um, the Incredible Years team in Lithuania for their vision, their commitment to support families and children in the early years and to evaluate their outcomes. Have a great day today. I look forward and hope I will get to see some of the presentations. Um, I'm really excited about what's happening in Lithuania. Thank you.